Ron Draper sifts through a mountain of information on red light cameras, a program he'd never thought about until recently. I got a citation in the mail. It was for running the light at Park in Ventura, a red light camera citation. Draper says his first driving citation ever. I don't run red lights. The more Draper researched red light programs, the more controversy he found about their use. Now he's circulating this petition trying to get rid of Plano's red light cameras. Prying into their, you know, their private lives and into their cars and uh, uh, what they're doing and where they're going and uh, uh, creating a bad image of the city of Plano. We want to increase safety. We want to reduce the number of traffic crashes, injuries and deaths. And uh, the only way we can really do that is we have to change people's driving behaviors. Currently, Plano's red light camera program covers 16 city intersections with 19 cameras. Police say the proof of the program's value is in the numbers. In 2005, Plano had 339 crashes due to red light running. The red light program started in 2006. And by 2010, the number of intersection crashes decreased to 205. For sure I will slow down. I will not try to cross it before it becomes red. In my mind, the question is whether the government should be this intrusive as to what the common citizens are doing, but it may very well have some benefit. Draper says the main benefit isn't safety, it's cash. When you get right down to the bottom line of this whole thing, it's a matter of money. The citations do generate fines, which Officer Tilly says goes back into traffic safety programs. But the cameras also generate awareness which can save lives. They're less likely to take that chance of blowing through that red light to try to, you know, beat that extra second.